What's up guys, back from a crazy vacation. A lot has happened since my last upload. So, three months ago, that, that's crazy, since my last uh, video ever posted on my channel. And I honestly, I did not think it was that long. I thought maybe it was a month or so, but hey, that's, I, I never check on my channel and like look at my stuff. So when I did, I noticed that it was three months ago, which is, um, that's a long time. So since then, a lot has happened. Uh, a lot of work, a lot of vacationing, a lot of weddings, and a lot of sad stuff. So first sad thing is my computer died. That's why I couldn't post any videos onto YouTube. Um, I use you know, iMovie and everything to edit my videos. So that all went down the drain as soon as this thing died on me. I mean, it, it was a handy down to begin with. It was a MacBook Pro, um, I don't know what year, I think 2007-ish, around there. Already, you know, like the screen started off, with the, you know, it was cracked in, uh, in the screen, like right in between. Um, it only works if it's plugged in, so it just, it was just an awful computer. So finally, um, working my butt off, I got this bad boy, the newest MacBook Pro you can possibly get right now. It's the 15-inch um, Retina display. And this thing is a beauty. It's fast. It's um, it's a lot smaller and lighter, and um, it has the newest version of iMovie. So that is great. I'm gonna play around with that with the editing and stuff. But I want to talk more about my channel towards the end of the video because I got some surprises and whatnot. So first things first, let's talk about the tank. So it's been a while since you guys seen this tank. So I'll, a lot has happened since then so first thing I'm gonna start with the right side and then go all the way to the left all right let's talk with this about this blue damsel um, you know doing the same thing swimming around he's blue all right that's it that's it that's all the update you're gonna have for this guy um, right here purple hammer coral this thing is massive let me give you a side shot as you can see look just like look how big the heads are this thing is I would say probably a fist size yeah fist size it, it, this thing is just huge um you go underneath it you see all those heads that's crazy just outputting new heads and just it's getting huge you can see it's almost touching the glass which is a pain for my algae scraper when you know going next to it i'm gonna have to i have to like you know swish it around to have it close its polyps or its heads and then i can finally fit it in but other than that it's doing great this thing actually you guys are going to be looking at this guy um I'm gonna talk about him right now, I guess. Uh, he's my skunk cleaner shrimp. Yeah, go back in your home. Skunk cleaner shrimp, he is awesome. All right, me and him just play around all the time. I make jokes to him and he runs it, okay. Hey, whatever. All right, I'll talk about him later. Red cap, uh, this thing is massive. It's getting bigger and bigger. I'm ready chipping at it because as you can see, it's getting too close to that torch coral and it's already um, getting onto the rock as you can see just climbing all over the rock all right back to this guy so i got him probably a month and a half ago and he was my missing link to this tank i mean yeah the fish is cool and everything i wanted another fish to add some more life here but uh, i didn't want to add another fish because more fish more maintenance in the tank and i don't want this tank to be a high maintenance kind of tank so um i got one better and got a invertebrate which as you can see just going all over the tank and he's different that, that's the biggest thing um i like the diverse diversity in the tank where you know it has the corals fish invertebrates i mean most of my crabs are no longer alive as you can see uh, they just died off i guess but i only have one left um and then just the shrimp you know he's amazing um there's not much to talk about him he's he's cool all right he hangs under there because perfect spot First off, they like shade, so he's underneath there. They don't like the high intensity of the lights, you know, beaming at them constantly. So he hides under there, puts his little whiskers out like that. Water, um, the filter, the outtake comes here. Uh, power head pushes it, and it goes right there. So if any food, any pellets that, you know, go there, right to it. So that's, that's the deal with this guy. Gold torch. I mean, everything is growing. That's all I could say. This thing... Just looks beautiful, just right in the center of the tank. Adds a nice color, like an orangish color to the tank, so that's awesome. Green torch does not look as green because I dimmed down the actinics for the video without me dimming it. This whole thing's washed out in blue, so dimmed it down, but it's a green torch, and this thing is 
multiplying like crazy too. This thing's huge. I like the fluffiness on this side and then also right here. So you got like the two huge corals on both ends, so that's awesome. Um, orange A can, as you can see, just getting puffier. That's it. It's not, you know, it's not getting onto the rocks or anything, so not much update. For that, because I, I don't direct feed it. I think if I, you know, actually fed it, it would start growing out. But you know, I'm lazy, so I don't want to. I want this tank to be as simple as possible, as easy to take care of. That's why all I do is for feeding is you know putting the pellets out. I just I want a nice looking tank that's easy to take care of, um, take care of, and you know, is low maintenance. So we got this green zoa um, colony right here. As you can see, it's expanding onto the rock. That's exactly what I want to spread on the rock on this side, because then at you know nighttime you got the actinics going and you got a bright orange and bright green section right there. Let me get whoops. Let me get a side shot. As you can see, it's where's my hand? It's spreading onto the rock. That's exactly what I want. And there's a the frag plug. So that's the green zoanthic colony there. Here's a huge. Um, as you can see, it's like a purplish. Whoops purplish red pinkish um, coral I don't know any of the names so I just do it by color so here's a huge section here it kept spreading so I ripped some off and put on a frag plug which I was gonna put underneath here but it's you know eating away all the light that's trying to get down to this little rocky area so it would have not been enough light for the zoanthids probably put some mushrooms or something there so in the meantime I just threw the frag plug back there and this guy just climbs on it and look at he's just closing everything up over here oh, he closed it up I got some orange zoanthids and that's pretty much it for the zoanthid colonies I got three types and hopefully I'm gonna start getting a couple more different colors and something you guys probably are noticing is two things one huge algae prom as you can see it's all on the sand bed um, onto this rock too and then in the back area here now it was a lot worse now before I talk about the the first topic still the second one is what is missing what coral it is something that used to be blue like this blue uh, damsel I used to you know talk about adding some blue in the tank and I had a nice damsel and I had a nice clam I had a blue clam that was sitting right here since I was on vacation for two weeks came back Notice this guy inside the clam eating him. So, um, of course, I first was blaming him. I'm like, no, no, what are you doing? But it wasn't his fault. It was whoever was feeding this tank. Um, the guy who was taking care of it, he threw some pellets in here. He probably did a little bit. And this guy just... It, I do it in a strategic way. I didn't really tell him exactly how I did it because I was in a rush when I was leaving. Like, honestly, I should not have done that. I told him to feed, you know, all 10 pellets or whatever for both of them. And then that was it. He So he probably, maybe not 10, I probably told him 6 or something. I, I don't know what I said. But I told him to put a little bit in there. So, you know, I didn't want a huge allergy problem when I got back. Because, you know, if he overfed, I would have had a lot bigger issue. So he probably put a couple pellets and this guy eats them all pretty quick. He He's faster than the shrimp. So what I used to do is put some here and then I will chuck it down on this side and have it get to the sand bed and eventually he'll find it that's how he gets fed so then the damsel won't touch it so when he was feeding it he probably just put it there and the damsel ate it all and this guy was getting starved you know he was starving whatever so the first thing he was doing was looking for some food and the clam was a nice tasty meal for him so that's what happened as soon as that happened the clam started dying which caused algae bloom the whole, all the glass panels was completely covered in algae. Um, the filter was nasty. The rock, just it was, it was a mess. I, you know those times in the hobby where you just get so frustrated and you just want to quit. I always have that feeling with this. Like if something goes wrong, it just gets worse and worse. But and then it could be the complete opposite where it's just ah, you know. So what I did was major water changes, major cleaning, and this is the result after two weeks. Um, you know, a little bit of algae left. Got some GFO going in the filter and some carbon, so hopefully that will make the, the water nice and clean and take out all the phosphates and bad stuff that we don't want in the tank. So that's the update with this tank. And then the last thing I wanted to mention was the channel. As you can see, my name is currently Sandier 365 and look at my banner and just the channel itself. It's dull, it's ugly, I need a new name. So in 2015, I am changing everything. Reason, 
because of my followers, subscribers, I have 2,628, 648,616 views. You know, people are watching my stuff. I, <laughs> that's what I found out. You know, I'm getting a decent amount of views um, per video now. I mean, starting off was kind of rough, but since, you know, the startup, um, I was slowly getting more and more subscribers and just growing. And people enjoy watching this stuff, so I am telling myself in 2015, changing everything. I already have someone working on my YouTube channel and I'm going to have a better name, better banner, better icon. I mean, look at me, uh, working pest control a couple of the, uh, a couple years ago. Got a, like a leaf here as the banner. Got no, you know, channel trailer. So that's all going to change in 2015. I'm going to give back to you guys. Not only that, but one more thing, kind of like Apple. And yeah, there's one more thing, a new tank build. Peace out. See ya.